My ex-boyfriend ruined relationships for me for the rest of my life. In 2019, I, F, met this guy, M. At the time, I was 19 turning 20, and he was the same. I was young and happy. I now look back and grieve this version of myself frequently. She loved so freely and effortlessly. When we met, it was super fun. The relationship was new and exciting. Definitely something different than my previous boyfriend. I was excited to be with someone new, and all of my friends encouraged me to. For the first six months, the relationship was incredible. It was easy and simple. We connected well and understood each other. I went out of my way all of the time and felt so loved and cared for by him. At this point in time, he decided to transfer schools a semester earlier than I. This is where things began to take a turn. We decided to do long distance and were doing it for the second semester of the year. During this time, things were just different. He wasn't acting the same with me. He would ignore me and post sexual things online. He would make up excuses for why he couldn't talk or have guests over to his dorm. It was all so odd and really started to trigger this anxiety in me I never knew existed. I decided to drive five hours to go visit him for the weekend, and long story short, I found out he was cheating on me. It was devastating. We ended up getting into a physical altercation, which led to me being escorted by campus police to my car so I can make the five-hour drive home. After this, I immediately went no contact, but unfortunately, I let him back in to apologize and explain himself. Worst mistake of my life. We got back together and I transferred to a school near his, not intentionally for him, just worked out that way, for the following fall semester. We spent the entire semester together, every single day. He introduced me to his friends, which quickly became my friends. They would take care of me and we all looked out for each other. It was great. I was living the college experience and doing all the things I wanted to do, whatever we wanted to eat or do I was paying. I didn't think twice about it at the time because I had the money and I was looking to enjoy my college experience. Once the semester came to an end, things got weird again. He was acting odd and out of character. I began to have this crushing anxiety and I knew something was up. One night after the Christmas break, we were together again and I had started crying to him, telling him I was struggling with trust and for some reason I couldn't shake this feeling. He reassured me that with him I'd never have to question or second guess that he would never do anything to hurt me. I asked him if he was with other people over the break, and he said no, but after he went through my phone and hid his, I decided to take his phone and lock myself in the bathroom with it while he was asleep. I found everything. He was cheating on me the entire time. Every time he went out, every time I was with friends, I saw our mutual friends encouraging him to cheat on me. I saw pictures and messages, fake accounts, him asking to be in girls only fans videos, to say I was completely devastated is an understatement. I called his friends to tell them come pick him up. I woke him up and told him to pack his things because we were done. A month after this, he had a new girlfriend, and I realized I was still logged into his email on my laptop. I went through everything and found Uber receipts of him going to other homes of people at 3, 4 in the morning. I found that he was paying for all of the dating apps you can think of, including gay ones. What I thought was my reality was anything but... Everything was a lie. Right down to his middle school experiences, everything was fake. I didn't know who this person was that I just spent the last year and a half with. I didn't know who I was. After the relationship, I found out that he gave me two STDs and strep throat. He also stole my Nintendo Switch. I had derealization and depersonalization issues for an entire year after that as well. I didn't feel real or like my reality was real. Keep in mind, all of this was during COVID at the end of 2020. I was in a new school five hours away from home, with no friends. It was the worst time of my life. It's been nearly three years now and I have been single since then. I spent the first year and a half completely rebuilding myself before I could even think of being with another person. This man manipulated, cheated, lied, stole, and broke me into pieces. Not to mention that I was essayed in the relationship and didn't realize until this year and a half time where I was reflecting. I have tried to create meaningful relationships with people because I love love, I crave a healthy romantic relationship and I do everything in my power to self-soothe and communicate with my partner, but after a certain point I feel like I'm self-sabotaging. I can't help but feel so broken and unlovable. I am trying to create a healthy relationship now with a current potential partner. He's been so patient and understanding with me but no matter what he says I have doubt in my mind that this isn't real. 
It's like I can't trust when people say certain things because it reminds me of how deeply insane this dude was. To be in my face pretending to be a good person. It was all a lie. I don't want to continue down this path, but I don't know what to do. Anyone have any comforting words? I'm at a loss here and feel hopeless.